Well, so after getting a little bit of a scare from Maryland last year, not the case this year. Buckeyes in total control from the beginning to end. In fact, there's still a couple minutes to go here. You know, hopefully this clock can just run out. No more touchdowns. I don't want those poor guys over there on the Buckeye sidelines to have to do any more push-ups. 73-14. to 14. Unfortunately, I, don't, I believe it is not their highest scoring game of the year, though. Didn't they drop a 77 on one of them Mac schools or somebody? Who was that? Bowling Green or somebody? One of them non-conference games. Somebody got waxed. Everybody got in on the action today. Even Demario McCall sneaking in two touchdowns late in the game. The backups in across the board in the second half from the start of the second half. Chugging off in there at quarterback. Fields played the first half. Did get a, you know in on four more touchdowns. Threw three touchdown passes. Rushed for another one. 200 passing yards for Fields on the day. Buckeyes went up. It was 21 to nothing just already after the at the end of the first quarter. K.J. Hill got a touchdown. Buckeyes with a really nice onside kick, a bit of a pooch kick. Ed Olavi lined up all the way down at the bottom of the field. They're running up like a kickoff, and dude just pooched it, man, like a little floater, 25, 30 yards in the, in the air. Olave sprinting right to where the ball's hopefully going to be. Maryland was not aware. Too late. Boom. Bit of, so it was kind of like an onside kick. I don't know. You'll probably you'll just have to see the highlight if you didn't see it. If, you, if you're watching this video and you didn't see it, you're probably still wondering, what the fuck was he talking about? So anyway, that was a cool onside kick. Fields got a touch, got his touchdown run in the first quarter. Olave gets a touchdown. Garrett Wilson had a touchdown receiving. J.K. had two touchdown rushing. Again, no action for J.K. in the second half. Got what, I think he finished with 88 yards rushing. The two touchdowns back-to-back -back right there in the second quarter. Buckeyes go into the half up 42 to nothing. Game already over. Backups in, in the second half. They get a field goal in the third quarter. They, uh, not all touchdowns. They did have one drive stall with Chuggy in there. Chugging off to Garrett Wilson for a touchdown. Like I mentioned, Wilson had the touchdown. Then Maryland does get on the scoreboard. You know, if you're a Maryland fan, you're wondering, hey man, what's all the Buckeye talk? Well, unfortunately, Maryland didn't score until it was 52 to nothing. 52 to seven, though, the comeback was not to be on. Then Crowley gets in on the action. Buckeyes running back. Now down to the third, fourth running back. I guess he was the third of the day. Demario was fourth. Yeah, maybe Demario saw some action first. Crowley gets the touchdown that makes it 59-7. to Maryland, a big return from this leak fell on. Maryland, that sets up a touchdown and a penalty to go along with it. 59-14, to still the comeback's not to happen because then that's when Demario comes in. Drops two on them. Boom, boom. Back-to-back -back runs. Nice to see Demario McCall, even though it's a total wash-up time there. You know, dude's had a pretty good career. Had an unfortunate career. Not a good career. Had the potential for a good career. It's just never quite been his time, you know. Pretty soon time's running out. So anyhow, it's nice to see him get two touchdowns in there again. I don't know how many more times I can do that. Might even end up in the thumbnail if I do it a couple more times. So anyhow, there's Ryan Day jogging off the field. I'm there to talk to that Maryland coach. So I don't know. Obviously, they meant they talked about Chase Young throughout the game. And that sucks. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, you know, it'd be nice if he's back next week. You know, I'm, I'm assuming he would have broken the Ohio State record today for sacks in a season. Buckeyes had, I think, five at halftime. I don't know. I mean, they end up with seven or eight sacks total. And an interception in there. There's old Master Teague. 111 yards rushing on the day for Master Teague. Garrett Wilson, like I said, with the touchdown, also had four catches for 82 yards. And, uh, oh, the Gophers, they're still rolling, as they say. Penn State goes down, just like Wisconsin. Will not be a battle of unbeatens when Ohio State and Penn State meet today after going down to the Gophers. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, guys. The train keeps on rolling here. Little JK. JK, man. Surprised he still has his shoulder pads on. Who's he trying to get in on somebody's interview? Oh, uh, here's Justin Fields. He knows that guy from Maryland. They're boys. Does that Maryland? Oh, that guy, that must be the transfer. I say there's a Maryland dude right in the middle of a huddle of about 25 Buckeyes. That's the dude that transferred. Didn't go well for him today and with his new team. There's Olave. I don't know, now just giving you a breakdown of what's going on after the game on the field. Empty stadium at this point. 73-14 final score. Boom, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, why not?